name is Nina here with Heroes Bar Homeschool Academy. Welcome to TOS Fridays, the day of the week where we get a chance to look into this book full of principles and wonderful um, methods for obeying God, learning how to obey God, learning how to walk in His ways. We're now in chapter 24, which we're going to look at part two of growing in God's grace. If you're ready, let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. And to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, amen. Hi, it's good to have you. Welcome back, my beautiful child. We are studying this, the second part of Growing in God's Grace, chapter 24. Last week, we talked about how to use God's spiritual energy which overcomes sin for its intended purpose and that whenever we use god's grace which is going to help us to be obedient when we actually use it and we overcome sin or overcome um, opportunities to when we have opportunities to sin which we all will whenever we actually overcome god gives us more grace and then whenever we continue through life and Another opportunity comes to try and get you to, to sin. Guess what? Or to do something wrong, which is what sin is. And that even if that's just dishonoring mommy and daddy, well, that's not right. It's like, do you think God is happy when we dishonor mommy and daddy? Yeah, he doesn't like that. So we all need grace. Everyone needs grace and mercy to please God. Whenever God gives us grace, we want to use it. To obey God. The more we use it to obey God, the more grace He gives us. The more we use it to obey God, the more grace He gives us. And He gives us grace, obedience, grace, obedience, grace. And very soon you'll find that obeying God is so easy. A child can do it. And um, and that's one of the things God wants everyone to get to. He wants everyone to get to a point to where obeying Him is, is child's play. It's easy. It's not hard and tempting. Oh, I just... I really, really want to tell this lie. So I don't want to. <laughs> and not only do I not want to, I can't. I just don't have the impetus to do that. I have to tell the truth because it's just what comes out of you because you have so much grace in your spirit. And that's just what comes out. Or, you know, what other challenge? So six, seven, eight-year-old, the challenge may be, you know, oh, this person did something mean to me. I want to do something mean back. Well, whenever you're operating under God's grace, what are you going to do? Well, God's going to give you that spiritual energy to overcome that challenge. So that person being mean, you're going to say, I'm sorry you're mean. I'm, I'm sorry you're having it tough like this. Really, I'll pray for you. But, you know, God bless you. I mean, just go on with life. And sometimes it's even best not to speak. And you ask the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do, what to say. There are times when if someone says, nah, nah, the boo-boo, you know, you know, you know, I don't like you. There are times when it's good to speak and say, you know, I'm sorry you feel this way, you know, or, you know, but oftentimes you find that <laughs> and the best thing to do is to say nothing at all. There are times you just say, Jesus loves you and I hope you come to Jesus. He wants to, he wants to be your Lord, and rule and reign in your heart. And there are times when you'll find that the Holy Spirit just says, don't say anything. And if he doesn't want you to say anything, you just say, Okay, you know, you just walk away and you go and give thanks to God. So that's what we talked about last week. This week, just uh, re-emphasizing it and helping us to remember that God wants us to, to operate under his grace, under his flood of beautiful, the reign of grace. And uh, we already talked about in the past how to keep ourselves open to God's grace, just having a humble heart. God, I want to do your will because humility tells us obedience. Humility is going to position us to do. That's what humility is, especially submission. If we're submitting to God's word, what are we doing? We're obeying. So if God says don't and we don't, he gives us grace. And then he gives us so much grace that we have another opportunity to, to pass a test. He says, don't, yeah, I'm not going to do it. I love you, God. How are you today, God? I missed you, Father. How are you? You know, and you just have this wonderful cycle obedience grace obedience grace and you just keep growing and growing and growing and growing in grace 
<laughs> Isn't that nice? I think it's nice too. If you have your worksheet, you may pull it out at this time. Complete the exercise here. And, um, and I think that'll be fun for you. Well, thank you so much for coming to class today and being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry